In this video, I'm just going to give a quick demo on the anchor handling module. So here we have the anchor manager open, showing the anchor rig station. And I also have the anchor tug station open as well. And I just configured some, you know, basic tabular text to just so, show some positions and give a description of the task at hand for each vehicle. So if I switch back to the anchor manager station, I have the anchor management window open, which is going to be driving all the operations. And I set up a tabular text for the rig and tug one, just showing some basic information. The first thing we need to do is we need to assign an anchor to our anchor tug one right here. So if you click the drop down, you'll have all your available anchors to select from. So I'm going to select anchor one and click on OK. And you'll notice that after I assigned anchor one to tug one, you'll see that our description has changed on the tabular text to tracking to anchor one. And if I switch over to our tug station, it is updated over here too. So tracking to anchor one. I'm going to switch back to the anchor manager and now that we have an anchor assigned to the vehicle we can change the anchor state and if you click the drop down you have racked, running, on bottom, recovering, and wet stored and for this demo I'm just going to simulate running the anchor so I'm going to select running and this window pops up and it's just verifying your target position for anchor one and I'm going to click on OK now that we've changed our anchor state to running, you'll notice the description updated again. So now we're running anchor one, and you'll see that our guidance calculation has updated to the new target location. And now I'm going to start my tug simulator to get the boat moving. I have the anchor manager here on the left and the tug station on the right, just so you can see both of them updating at the same time. I've run the anchor tug about 700 meters out. I know I haven't hit the proposed target location, but I'm going to go ahead and change the state to on bottom. And when you change the state to on bottom, you get a window display. It's giving you your fair lead position, your anchor handle or tug position, and your target, your proposed target location. And then you need to fill out your work wire out. So I'm going to put 120 meters and your water depth and this is the anchor position that we're at right now and you're gonna click on refresh and OK and now it has placed the anchor in its new position and the line is getting drawn I'm gonna switch the anchor manager back to full screen so you can see a little bit better You'll notice that when the anchor is now on bottom, now you can actually change the anchor assignment on tug one. When you're running an anchor, you actually cannot change the anchor assignment. So if, if I assign tug one to anchor one and we change the state back to running, you'll see that you can't do anything on your anchor assignment until this task is complete. And this pretty much wraps up our anchor handling demo. One more thing that I wanted to stress is when you initially create the project and set up all the stations, make sure you do it on the same PC. 
and then copy that project folder to all the PCs that are going to be on the job. And you'll see here if I open up my file explorer and go into my project, you'll see that tug one station that I had created in here now. And you would have all the tugs in here for all the remote stations that you're going to need. And you would just copy this whole project folder and paste it to all the computers.